On travel days, I typically do nothing but calculate what time I should be leaving for the airport by checking ways every 15 minutes. But today was not one of those travel days. But for a quick run before doing my final packing checklist. I filmed personal content that I needed to get done at my apartment. Some of my friends were going to motor and coffee and I wanted to see them before heading out and I've also been dying to try this coffee shop. It did not disappoint and took me away from my travel anxiety for a hot The second. rest of my day was timed to absolute perfection because otherwise the only thing not getting done on my checklist would be making it on my flight. I already had my suitcase packed and ready in the car so when I got back to my apartment, I just needed to pick up a box of pastries that a bakery hand delivered to me parked the car and jumped straight in an uber not an uber to the airport just yet i had a micro needling appointment scheduled with flawless skin center i'm doing a series of four to six treatments it was so easy and painless i'll keep you updated with my results what i didn't realize when planning my day was that i would be going straight to the airport with my face covered in blood lax has seen much worse though so i was pretty unfazed I sneakily changed in the back of my uber because there was a negative zero percent chance i was flying five hours wearing a bra my flight was boarding when i got there and i still needed to grab some last minute essentials right after taking this video i left my phone on the counter at Hudson News. I had to ditch my bags to sprint back and luckily recovered At it. this point, I was laughing at the day I had, but I also couldn't laugh too hard or my face would start to hurt. I made it on my flight with a bloodied face, a recovered phone, a box of pastries, and got home just in time to deliver these delicious goods to my parents. Oh my God. That's right. Beauty.